Hi my viewer, I trust you're doing fine. This is Sarah Kimani. I am a relationship and marriage therapist and coach and I'm very very happy to be with you again today. I trust you had a very nice moment. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting, something called um, beneficial separation. Okay, a beneficial separation. And before we do that, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and honor. You are a wonderful God. We bless you and we love you. Thank you for this opportunity, Father Lord Almighty, for us to share as friends, O God Almighty, even as viewers, O God of glory. We worship you, Jehovah. I pray for my viewers, O God, that you will bless them and do them good, O Jehovah. Even as we, we discuss this afternoon, Father, let your goodness rest upon us. We love you, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. So my viewer, uh, what I want us to talk today about is uh, this something called constructive or a beneficial separation. Sometimes it's inevitable for a family to keep to fight and maybe to have unresolved uh, conflicts or unresolved matters that sometimes are swept under the carpet. But what you're saying is that uh, instead of rushing to divorce courts because of unresolved conflicts, it is better to just look back and think and remember that God does not hate separation, God hates divorce. And so we want to avoid doing what God hates as much as possible. So you can avoid uh, doing divorce by first of all offering yourself a little separation, a constructive separation which you are going to to be separated with your, from your spouse and then both of you are just not seated, you are not just doing nothing. You are asking for counsel, you are praying, you are interacting with counselors, you are giving yourself time to reflect and time to think about your marriage and maybe how badly you have come all this far and you think on how to come back together and to work on that marriage. That's what you're talking about. That is a, a, a constructive and a beneficial separation because sometimes when you're together there is physical violence which is not good for anybody and sometimes there is emotional violence and it's all bad over there and instead of maybe seeing things that have been happening lately where couples are fighting they're killing each other it's better to just separate yourself a bit from your spouse and you seek counseling first of all don't just rush to divorce court give forgiveness a chance give prayers a chance give reconciliation a chance give talks a chance give just forgiveness and give time a chance because time also has been known to be a good healer and then after that you'll find yourself coming back together and you can seek for separation you can seek for counseling while you're alone and maybe another counselor is seeing your spouse and helping you to walk through it so what you're saying is that think about it don't rush to divorce. Divorce is never a solution to a bad marriage. Divorce is not a solution. And you find that some people have been separated and they have come back together and they have continued with their lives. Again, don't take the, the longest time in your separation. It is just meant to make you come back again and to reflect afresh and to come and to proceed from where you had left. Okay, God bless you so much. Please stay married. And remember very well that God hates divorce. He does not hate separation especially a beneficial separation okay god bless you so much and try as much as possible to stay married all right god bless you so much and i will see you soon